The Walking Dead, episode 3, The Long Road Ahead, is finally out. I feel like I've been waiting forever to play this, so I'm not going to talk. I'm just going to go. Previously on The Walking Dead. I'm so excited for this episode. Previously on The Walking Dead. Get the gates open! We've got wounded! I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. I gotta look out for my family. I gotta know that whoever I take with me is gonna be looking out for Cat and Duck. Wait, I, I know Lee, that. Lee, you left Duck in danger twice. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. Those look like the people who raided my Calm camp. Calm down, you're paranoid. Fuck you! Did you tell anyone out there who you were or that you were tied to this place? That's right. I know who you are, and I know you're a killer. He's not dead! Somebody help me! Come on! We know this guy's not gonna make it! What the fuck? Sounds like a car. There's a shitload of food and supplies back here. We have to take this, Clementine. We need it to survive. Don't worry, little girl. Bandit's got their eye on that dairy. As long as they keep getting food from them, you'll be safe. Episode 3! <clears throat> Sorry. I'm cool. Been waiting a long time for this. This game series adapts to the choices you make. This story is tailored to how you play. We know. I don't... I don't need this. I know who made it. That's fine. The Walking Dead. And now we play. There we go. <laughs> Episode three, long road ahead. Looks like this is our lucky day. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Yeah, this might actually go smoothly. We deserve it after last time. Sean Bannerman. Vanaman. Batman? Banana Man. Oh, man. You made up your mind yet? About what? When it comes to the getting the hell out of Macon, I bet you're in the let's stay put camp considering I've been pushing everyone to leave. Hmm. We should go. The motel's run its course, and it's not safe. Well, if that's what you think, you should probably fucking speak up. Lily's dug in. Hey, what the fuck's your problem, Kenny? It's because I wouldn't kill Larry? You hate me now? Okay, just like last time. Over the rig, into the pharmacy, and scrape together whatever supplies are left. We didn't leave much in there. Hey, we're out of options. Something's better than nothing. <laughs> nope. Shit. You okay? The ladder's come loose. I'm not sure how many more trips she's got in her. I'm not sure how many more trips we've got in us. No kidding. So now I gotta find a way to fix the ladder. Sure, sure. Well, there's your problem. Looks like she's had it. What now? I'll find another way up. We better get a move on. Okay. They're blocked by all the fallen concrete. There's no safe way through that mess. Hmm. Huh. 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 Is that all you got, Lee? Hmm. Looks like it still works. <sighs> Lily's not doing so good, huh? It's not good. I'm worried. No shit. There's a lot to be worried about. She's gonna snap.
Are you gonna move the truck with that? Well, that's gonna make an awful lot of noise, isn't it? I'm just gonna check over here <clears throat> and see if there's anything. Box or something. Hmm. Is that all you got, Lee? Hmm. Hmm. Huh. Hmm. Hmm. Huh. Okay, it's pretty quiet. <laughs> the girl's still upset with you for agreeing to take that stuff from the station wagon. I hope not. Hope it ain't worth a damn. I guess you can jump up, up on that and then use the ladder for the rest of the way. Um. Duck was asking about that guy at Herschel's farm last night. Really? I wasn't sure it phased him. Of course it did. What did he say? He wanted to know if Herschel's son somehow made it. Pretty sure he knows he didn't. Don't worry. You made out like a hero in his eyes. It's not like that. Hmm. You're sure you're up for this? Lee, I'm fine. I've got this. Give me your hand. Uh, oh. Oh. Shit! Oh, dude! Ah. Oh. I'm gonna play it nice. Jesus. You okay? No, Dick, I'm shot. Now get off here. Oh, hell. No, no, go away! Go! Help me! Somebody help oh, don't me! Don't scream, come on. Oh, God! Oh, God! <clears throat> what the hell is that? A walker? Walkers don't scream, do they? Jesus, I don't think so. I don't know. Gotta shoot her. Put her out of this misery. You know we're here. What do you mean? I mean, we leave her alive, and she draws them all to her. Buying us time. You can't. Think about it. We're always worrying about the ones we can't see. She stays alive and brings them all out of their holes. I don't know. Oh, God. Oh, God. Why do you put me in this? Okay, fine. I'm going to leave her. Well, that ain't good. If we shoot her, it's just gonna draw the walkers to us, right? Right? I mean, oh. and then we're doomed, anyways. I mean, we couldn't help her. Oh damn it! <laughs> I feel bad about that. Oh, am I gonna have to listen to her scream all the while? We should be good to clear this place out. Oh, we ain't got all no. day. Get everything you can out of these racks. Don't forget underneath the counter this time. I'll clear down here and then we gotta go. Oh man, the the screams. Oh god, that's really, really grating my my soul there. I feel really bad. But that's how it has to be, right? I mean, uh... she's gone. There's not much time now. <sighs> okay. Okay, the walkers are coming to us then. So that ain't good. Oh, there's a nice bit of supplies here, energy bars and stuff like that. Okay, we gotta move. See if we can get some stuff here. Because time is ticking. This is a successful raid, I, I think. think. That's everything. Aha! That girl didn't die for nothing then. Up and over. We're still clear. Let's hustle. Oh, oh gosh. Uh, 
That walker has no arms! Oh god! What the hell, dude? Why did you hesitate? Fridge! Fridge? Splat! Get out, <laughs> fucking get out! You couldn't have helped me, dude? Is there something here? Punch! Oh! Come on again, again! Punch him, punch him! <laughs> Eat barrel butt, zombie man! Oh, Jesus! Oh, he's still going strong. Oh, that's a strong but. What was that? They're everywhere. You took care of yourself, didn't you? Should I have shot the woman? I don't know. Oh. Oh well. Hey Ben. What up? Hey Clementine. You're back. Ben found some stickers in a drawer, and I put them on my walkie. Hey, sweet pea. That's neat. I'll find you in a minute. She's wearing the, uh, the sweater. Looks like we got the kid on watch again. What'd you get? We might as well leave a sign out that says the men are gone. Come and rape our women and children. So, what did you get? Just what was left. Which was a lot, actually. Take a look. We're fine, by the way. Nice work. This will keep us going. If we carry on like this, we'll get through the winter here. The winter? We'll freeze our asses off here! Because piling into an RV with you, after what you did to my dad, is so appealing. Why wouldn't it be? You know, I'll do what it takes to keep everyone safe. We're already safe. Take uh, a look at the wall, Lily. That's not graffiti. Mm. Those are bullet holes. Uh, we got enough arrow shafts sticking out of it to dry our laundry. We have to go eventually, Lily. I know, Lee. I know. Eventually is different. At it again, are we? Can it, Carly. Don't boss people around. I'm sorry. Somebody needs to make executive decisions for the group, though. I don't think you're capable anymore. Everything can't come down to the same disagreement. Lily's concerns are valid, you know. Of course you think they are. God damn it, I'm not on anyone's side. Kenny, this is about everyone. What about the food situation? What about protection? What about when this place falls? Somebody's got to be thinking about this shit. How has this not been working? We have everything we need. Because of me, Lily. No, because Lee knows how to take care of people. Not just things. We deal with shit as it comes, just like we always do. And when 15 bandits hop over that wall in the middle of the night? What then? You just gonna deal with that? Everything that happens to us is another excuse for you to pull this crap about leaving. All I want is a week of peace, of not hearing it. Do you know how we got these supplies? <clears throat> Your pal and I got lucky and let a girl get eaten out there. What? Some girl came screaming out of an alley. She had dead hanging all over her. She gave us enough time to get everything we could out of the drugstore. You just let her suffer like what? Like bait? Oh, yeah. God, I don't make me feel bad. Oh. You weren't out there. She was dead anyway. It made the most sense in the moment. Lee's right. We've been putting our lives on the line doing these runs into the city. You wouldn't believe the shit we see. We all appreciate it, Ken. You should be thanking Lee for not shooting that girl. It's not so easy for him. Uh-oh. Look, Macon and its people aren't savable. It's not <clears> a <throat> town. It's full of walkers. And the people who were left are dying and wandering out onto the streets. It's hell on Sorry Earth. about that. And it's coming. This way. It's not going to be easier. 
I'm sorry about that. I got interrupted by the doorbell, so that was a little bit annoying. It'd be easier out on the road. How would you know? What I know? I know you're not above murder. I know somebody has been stealing our supplies. That's right, stealing. And I know the list of people I can trust here gets smaller every day. Now everybody get out. <laughs> 